So, the sun always shines on ID. Absolutely, there you go, the ID Buzz Cargo in the UK with a steering wheel on the right side and I get to drive it. Fantastic news. It's a beauty. Not a huge fan of this colour, but you know what? This is a statement piece and all the vehicles all around me are all statements. And I think that's what we need to remember about the ID Buzz. This is a statement. And in the cargo version, it's a statement about your business. It's a statement on sustainability. As VW will tell us, it's a statement about connectivity, digitization, and the future. Let's go and drive the future. Well, the first thing you notice as you get in the VW ID Buzz cargo is the amount of space. The seat is really set back and actually is too far back for me at five foot 10. Now, typically I would struggle to get a seat too far back in a van. Um, also, we've got a lot of a good adjustment on the, the steering wheel here uh, and that's really good news as well. So I can get a really comfortable position. Also, we've got these haptic, almost non-touch uh, buttons for the windscreen, you know, the, the defrosters and all that kind of stuff. Fortunately, today, we don't need it. The sun always shines on ID. Yeah, and, and, and you're going to get that quite a lot, I think, because um, I kind of like it. But I also recognise that there's some challenges for van users that we need to consider. There's some lovely car versions of it. And you know what? I wouldn't mind owning one of those. It's a pretty nice vehicle. But for me, is this van fit for purpose within a commercial world? Let's consider that. So I'm heading from Molly's Diner, which uh, VW have kindly given us a very excellent breakfast. Um, and not to mention a little bit of a press briefing, um, which is all good. And we've, uh, we're getting on our way now, very smoothly and very quietly. That is lovely. And I do enjoy, I, I mean, you know, I'm a great advocate of electric driving because of the comfort, peace and quiet, smoothness and simplicity that comes around driving an electric van. And from a, pa a driver point of view, this is quite easily, there's one mild competitor, but it's quite easily the top driving experience. So you've got a lot of passenger car kind of comfort and technology all at your fingertips. I'm very pleased to say that we've got a nice selection of equipment that is at your fingertips on the steering wheel, which allows you to set cruise control, adjust the stereo, volume, change modes of various different things. So, you know, from an initial start off point, the, the, the screen is always in the center of the steering wheel because it's sort of attached. Um, so it means as you move the steering wheel, you're not blocking things out. So talking of the dashboard, one of the things that I can see on the dashboard is a range of 285 miles. Now, I'm guessing that that is around town, but, and it's dropping now as we're getting onto dual carriageway and upping the speed a bit, but still, 285 miles on a van. First time I've seen that, let me tell you. So, after a 30 mile drive in the ID Buzz Cargo, we've arrived here at the Bista Heritage Center. At least 100 years of heritage on this site. And of course, these vehicles date back to the late 50s, early 60s, the origins of VW. And of course, the inspiration for the ID Buzz and the Buzz Cargo. Of course, the only one that's of real interest to me is the Buzz Cargo and the lovely grey, I think it's grey, I'm colourblind, so, but we'll go with grey, stick with me. Um, and uh, in contrast to this bright yellow vehicle. But there's not actually that much difference. This is a smaller vehicle than you might otherwise expect in the large van world that we live in. And this is, in VW's words, a compact van. So if you're expecting a replacement for the transporter, this isn't it. But 
is it a great van? So first thoughts then on the drive of the VW ID Buzz. I can't tell you how good it was to drive. I, I shouldn't gush, right? I'm supposed to be impartial and independent. I sound like an employee of VW, but trust me, we'll get to the bits that I don't really like about the VW ID Buzz, but only as a van really. Um, but the first drive, it's smooth, it accelerates well, it's got you know, great acceleration all the way up through the uh, range, as you would imagine. There's no gear changes, uh, it's peaceful, all the equipment is well placed and intuitive as you would find in a passenger car. There's also a lack of too much stuff in and around. It's nice and clean and simple inside with lots of storage space all around the vehicle. Lots of USB-C charging points. So if you've got the old style now, the USB cables, you might not find a home for it. I haven't found one yet, but it looks great. It drives great. Now for its credentials as a van. So the rear doors on the VW ID Buzz are about the poshest I've ever experienced on a van. There is a nice big hefty lip there and a very substantial door that is thick, well protected from those in-out kind of bumps, but then also goes round to your 180 degree so that you can push up against a place that um, you want to load from or you can get your um, your forklift, that's the word, forklift, the, those things that go up and down. Yes, in there, absolutely brilliant. So, of course, two doors giving full access to around four cubic meters of space. Four cubic meters of space and around 600 kilos of payload. So if you were expecting transporter, you're not going to get it. But what you are going to get is a very funky, good looking, practical load space with very posh doors. So as I open the twin side loading doors that are also equally as robust as those back doors, that's one of the things that comes across about this vehicle is it's really well built. Now these twin side loading doors are standard. So whichever side you arrive at the curb on, you can get your goods and um, whatever you're carrying out in a safe manner. That's great news. There's lots of lashing points um, to be able to tie down things to make sure you're safe and secure. And obviously a good solid bulkhead that does come quite a way back into the load space. So once inside the cab of the VW ID Buzz, it's a great area to be in. I sound again like a Volkswagen salesperson, but it is a really good place to be. We all know the quality of Volkswagen and their interiors. And if you know the ID range, the ID3, the ID4, the ID5, you'll be familiar with a lot of the equipment here. There's a nice utilitarian feel around the cab. It feels quite solid. Um, that doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're gonna damage anything by uh, moving around your, your tools or anything else. Although there are one or two things that, that could take some damage. There's a, a nice coat hook there to put your stuff out of the way. I think we're missing a mobile office, but maybe that is an option. Um, I really should read the spec sheet. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do. I like to ask questions, but there we go. Um, so, but a good two seats at the front here. So it's a good three seat vehicle. And when you think about that, you normally expect that bigger uh, sort of back end, if you like, a bigger back end. Hmm. Um, but we don't get that. So it's a compact van, but it is quite a large compact van. But height wise, it will definitely get into those car parks and places that sometimes the bigger vans are, are struggling to get into. So from a, an environment to work from, uh, to live and breathe from, from your, your personal business, your small business, your butcher, your baker, your candlestick maker, clearly florists and, cake and sandwich shops, those kinds of people are going to lap this vehicle up. The Bista Heritage site is the area that I can absolutely see this kind of vehicle taking off. Small businesses all represented all around, um, lots of different small businesses kind of delivering the goods in their own personal way. 
and the ID Buzz is perfect for that personal touch. Let's deal with those electric vehicle statistics. Get those out of the way because 258 miles of WLT WLTP range from a 77 kilowatt hour battery. Will it do it? Well, I've just done 55 miles across a mixture of urban and uh, dual carriageway and into town and all of that good stuff. And actually, I've still got 209 miles left. I had 285 miles when I started. I've never seen that on a van before. That's fantastic. It also has 170 kilowatt DC charging. And that is pretty damn impressive. And that leads me to my next pretty damn impressive thing too. They've put the charging point here, the rear quarter panel. So it's not gonna be damaged by a rear impact. And it's not gonna be damaged by a front impact. And also, it means that you can reverse up to the charge. And that does mean that you have to think about which side the charge point is going to be. But it's really great. And the other thing, whilst I'm back here, is it's rear wheel drive. Now, being rear wheel drive, of course, that makes it good for, yes, you guessed it, 1,000 kilos worth of towing. Now, whilst that doesn't set the world alight, it's still pretty significant. And, and it sort of dispels the myth that no electric vehicles can tow. Now, there are some vehicles on the market now that can tow. So the time has come for me to say goodbye to the VW ID Buzz the ID Buzz Cargo. <laughs> I might as well call it Cinderella. No, I shouldn't. Do you know what? VW have done a really good job with this van. And despite my reservations around how well it's going to appeal in fleet, I think it's going to be a brilliant van. And I think a lot of people are going to adopt this and make a statement for their businesses. With over 250 miles range, which could actually be believable, an amazing charging speed of up to 170 kilowatt DC if you can find the right charger. With the drive that it's got, all of the equipment that it has that would appeal to you from your passenger vehicle. For the space that you've got up front, yes, at the cost of space behind, but if you can't carry more than 600 kilos, then it's not a lot of point of having too much more space. This is going to do a really good job in the urban environment and I think it might do a pretty decent job interurban as well, between towns and cities. I think range is not going to be your worry here. Charging is just a worry for us all about all different times if we're doing big long journeys. But you know, you're only going to need to charge this three times a week, maybe at most. This is a good van. Do check it out and have fun.